The new player of the month has just been released. As you can see, an amazing card, 94 Aguero, ridiculous stats. In preparation for this very moment, I went onto the transfer market, bought an Aguero for the cheapest price at the time, 377,000 coins. I was ready, I was prepared. A part of me did feel like we'd have to submit something bigger, maybe an Aguero and maybe then, maybe a few informs from City, something like that. And there was a small part of me which thought, you know what, that I wouldn't be surprised if EA do release an SBC where you've got to submit a Team of the Week player whose name is Aguero. Guys, I didn't think EA would do this SBC, which would make it unbelievably unaffordable for most people. I want to say one of the most expensive SBCs last year was, I think Ibra was pretty expensive at one point. Salah this year, I think was ex I think he was quite expensive. For me, this is insane. I think EA need to redo this. This is absolutely mad how expensive this is going to be. As you can see, Argentina player from Man City, exactly one. So going off that, you know you definitely need an Aguero card. Team of the Week players, exactly one. So you need an Aguero card, which is Team of the Week card. So as you can see, if I go to Aguero right here, this would actually work if I had his card. 90, sorry, 90 rated Aguero, that would work. However, once you've done that SBC, which right now is going to cost you more than 1.4 million coins, which would be the most expensive SBC for the Premier League play of the month ever. You've then got to go and do this one, which is Man City players minimum two, Team Week players minimum two, rating 85. That is going to be expensive as well. January goals, you need again, Team Week players minimum three. I mean, 85 rating as well. Very expensive one right there. And again, 86 rating on this one, Team of the Week minimum one. So that one is, again, really expensive. As of right now, Man City will cost you 170k. Uh, January goals will cost you 185,000 coins. And then Argentina will cost you 240,000 coins. Sergio Aguero SBC will cost you 1.3. Overall, that is around about 1.9 million on Xbox for this card. And then 2 million on PS4. A bit more than that, actually. 2.1 million. Guys, this SBC is just insane. I get that this card is clearly a fantastic card. And you've got to do a bit of work to get it. I feel like it would have been perfect if the EA would have done just a regular Aguero card. And then maybe a Man City Team of the Week. I feel like that would have been probably more fair. Fair may not be the word, but you know what I mean, guys. For me, this is just, honestly, this is the first play of the month. I'm thinking, you know what? I may not do this one. This is just too much. The reason why this is really um, slightly crazy is because Aguero's card was, I think, 800k before. Now he's looking at, at least, I mean, it's going to be what... Probably 1.2 million, I want to say. Okay, so there you go. That is currently the cheapest Aguero inform card on the market, guys. 1.2 million. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think last year. Did we have a Play of the Month card that cost more than a million coins? Did we? I'm trying to recall. We may I don't think we I don't think we did. Not this much. That right there would be the cheapest 1.25. To be fair, that would have actually been a pretty good snipe. I'm not gonna lie, that that actually would, I haven't got the coins. But still. I can't believe how much this SBC is costing, guys. For me, this is just too much. It would have been perfect if they had a regular Aguero card. And then, may I think it would have been fair, actually. Maybe have like an 85 Team of the Week card from the Premier League. Something like that, which would be more affordable for a lot more people. Now, I mean, unless you're a pro player or probably a YouTuber or someone who has a lot of coins on FIFA, there's just no chance, guys. It's costing you 1.9 million at least to get this card done. This is crazy. Let me know if you think I should do it in the comments. Anyway, I'm going to open to Patro now. Gold pack. This is from doing Think, which SBC. This is from the marquee matchups, which is always pretty good, to be fair. Marquee matchups, especially like a Road to Glory, is cool. You get, a lot of the time, you do get coins back. So, marquee matchups right now is the SBC. I'd advise you guys to do this. Let's see what we get in this one, though. Anyone special? Oh, God. Probably not. So this one, we're going to get Prime Gold Players Pack, guys. I will open the ones to watch packs as well. And hopefully we... Oh, we get a board here. Hold up. Be something like De Bruyne. Be left wing. Ah, it's good of Bali. That isn't too bad, actually. The only good thing with these, with, these, with these SBCs is that his price has probably gone to 5k. Um, yeah, pretty much 5k. I'll go for that. Cool. The mad thing as well is that today EA are releasing, I believe, the Lunar New Year promo, which I think will have Team of the Week packs. So 
I'm going to be intrigued to see what the market's going to be like with the new promo. That's going to be pretty big. Anyway, I'm going to open some ones to watch packs right now because just what, what, literally, why not? So let's get into these packs here, guys. The ones to watch winter player packs. You never know what we can, what we can get with EA. Hopefully, something magnificent. Just saying. Nigeria flag. Striker. Oh, that's um, Musa. Yeah, there you go. Cool kit right there with Musa in the pack. I think he's going to be really cheap, though. Maybe 20k. His card is obviously very good in terms of like a low rate to play, but not too bad. 25k. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay. Next one. Come on. Be better than Musa. Be someone. I can't even remember who's in winter plays now. I'm trying to think. Is it maybe. Lacazette. Oh, French. CDM. Oh, no, Lacazette is... I'm keep thinking... Oh, my God, Lacazette's summer transfer. Uh, we get Cockwillen. Again, though, linked to Arsenal. Obviously, he used to be Arsenal. Um, again, going to keep him for future. One more to go with, guys, for this video. Bit of a different one, but I like doing these kind of like videos. Just off the cuff, just random, I guess. Something different every day. Let's go. Oh, there we go. I've got someone great. 86 Mkhitaryan. Wow, I didn't expect that. I'm, I could be wrong here. I'm going to guess he's 120k. That would be great. I think it could be more, you know. I reckon he's more. Wow, he is. 100 and... How much is that? 160k thing, guys, for that card. That is superb. Wow, that has surprised me. Okay, that has been worth it. Wow. We do get Mkhitaryan. Ones to watch. And there you go. Back to Aguero, though, and to show you guys right now how much his inform is. So there is his card again for you, 94 card. It's a fantastic card, but you can also get a team of the year Harry Kane for cheaper. Maybe three prime icons for the price that Aguero is going for. So it does show, like, it just, I don't know. For me, it just doesn't seem worth it right now. He is still 1.2 million coins. I believe he's probably about that right now. There you go. One point. Pretty much 1.2 million coins there, guys, for Inform Aguero. But the players that you can get him for, man, like, I'll just show you. So, Ronaldo, what's his, like, regular price these days? Cristiano Ronaldo, no idea what his price is. 1.5 million for Ronaldo. Um, trying to think who else. So, De Bruyne Team of the Year. How much is he? Kevin De Bruyne. I'm gonna guess he's 1.6. Is that wrong? Let's have a look. So, you could also get De Bruyne for the price that you can do Aguero for all, pretty much spot on. You can also get that. But still, guys, would you do the Player of the Month Aguero? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like for more. And how can EA improve the Player of the Month?